Hello friends, in the first video segment, we did discuss about measure of information and we defined information that is self-information which is equal to log 1 by probability or the information contained is inversely proportional to its probability of occurrence. Now I had left it here where we did not define the base of the log. Now if I consider the self-information i which is log 1 by p to base 10 then the units would be in Hartley. If it is to base e then the units is referred to as nats and if it is base 2 then it is referred to as bits. Now in most of the cases we consider log 1 by p to base 2 because we want the information content in bits. Now how do we find the relation between Hartley, nats and bits? How do we do that? Right? So let's take this equation. So of course 1 Hartley so 1 Hartley is nothing but i by log to base 10 1 by p. So it is i divided by log to base 10 1 by p. So this is from the first equation. Now we also know that what is i? So i is nothing but log 1 by p to base e. So let me substitute 2 here. So 1 Hartley is nothing but i is log 1 by p to base e divided by log 1 by p to base 10. Alright, so now how do we do that? How do I find the relationship between Hartley and for example Lance? How do I do that? Now this can be written as log p to base e with a negative sign. So we know that if I take its reciprocal or in if I take its reciprocal it, I get a negative sign here. So minus log p to base 10. So I get log p to base e divided by log p to base 10 and this can be written as this can be written as log 10 to base p divided by log e to base p. So on what basis did I write? So we know that log b to base a is nothing but 1 by log a to base b. Okay, so I have log 10 to base p divided by log e to base p and this is nothing but log 10. Since the base are one and the same, I can write this as log 10 to base e. So this is nothing but 1 by log e to base 10. Okay, so what is 1 by uh, log e to base 10? So I can definitely find log 10 to base e or 1 by log e to base 10 and that would be equal to 2.303 nats. Right, because I have substituted for i as 1 by p to base e in nats. Right, so 1 Hartley is nothing but 2.303 nats. Okay, so Hartley of course is in base 10, the units, and nats is of course in base e. So how do I do that? So if I want to find the relationship between Hartley and Nats, it's just going to be log 10 to base e. So if I want to find how much is 1 Hartley equal to in bits, so definitely I need to do log 10 to base 2. Because Hartley is log p to base 10 and bits is of course log 1 by p to base 2. So it would be log 10 to base 2. So this is nothing but 1 by log 2 to base 10 and I would get that as approximately 3.32 bits. Right? So 1 Hartley is 3.32 bits. 
So again, let's try to find the relation between nats and widths. What is 1 nats equal to? 1 nats is equal to, so I need the relationship between nats in terms of width. So that would be log e to base 2 because I need it in bits. So this would be 1 by log 2 to base e. So I would get the value as 1.443 bits. So 1 nats is 1.443 bits. So this is how we can find the relationship between Hartley and nats, Hartley and Hartley and bits and nats and bits. So this is the relationship. Of course, in most of the problems, what we solve, to either to find the entropy or to find the self-information, we usually consider log to base 2. And that is the general standard which is usually used because we need the measure of information in the form of bits, in bits. right? The measure of information in bits, so that is the reason why we consider log to base 2 in most of the cases. So the next video segment, we should talk about entropy. And we shall see how we can get the expression for entropy H of S and then also solve a few problems on entropy. So do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads. And to watch all the other videos in information theory and error control coding, either click on the i icon or go through the playlist information theory and coding theory and you will be able to find all the videos there. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.